Today we're going to look at importing CSV files in the Google Sheets using the coefficient add-on. So we're going to go ahead and go extensions and the coefficient add-on and launch. If you do not have coefficient, just go up here to add-ons, get add-ons and search for coefficient in the Google add-on store. So we'll go to launch and when the sidebar loads, simply click on import from and then find CSV. If it's not up top, just scroll down the sources until you find it. So once we click on this, you can see we have three different options. And so we'll start with import from URL. And then all you have to do is paste the link to the data you want to import. Click next. And when it finishes loading, you can select the columns you wish to display. You can also add filters if you want to filter by any of the columns. And you can change the import name here as well. You can call crash data and hit import. And then once it finishes running, you can set the refresh schedule and you can still edit the columns and run again as needed. This is a great way to sync up to a website that may refresh the data in the CSV on a regular basis. So let's go ahead and check out our other options. So we can also go CSV and pick from Google Drive. This will require you to authorize Google Drive if you have not already. And once you have authorized Google, you can choose your CSV. You can search for your CSV. Select and then import and select our columns again. Any filters we need to we change the import name and then import that data. Once that import is done, you can change the auto refresh. For example, if you are automatically refreshing that file in the drive. Otherwise, you can click not right now. And you can check out your data there. Finally, let's check out our final one. We can upload a file. And so we can select a file from our device. And you can select here a CSV from your computer and do the same import there. Click import, and it'll import that data. And finally, you can select the columns there as well, and select that data. All right, that is it for today. Check back soon for more videos.